Working with Guy has been honestly a manifestation dream come true. Um, he has been one of my favorite directors. I'm not just saying this right now because I'm doing this. He really has been from like Snatch to, to his latest The Gentleman, everything in between his style. You know, it's so stylistic. You know, the Guy Ritchie stamp is so evident in every film he does, um, which was interesting for this one because I think it's a, little, it's a departure from what he's done, which is London gang, you know, kind of. Um, very London, this is completely different. So I'm so excited to see how he stylizes his print on it, right? Um, but he's been fantastic. I think it's been, um, at first it's a little jarring because, um, you know, as an actor, you prepare, you, you learn your scenes, you learn your sides, you go to set, memorized, and if you forget a line, you ask for it, but it happens. But you come to set with Guy and, and honestly the scene, the movie's ri being written as we go based on you know, what's going on at the moment, you know? What can we do? Can we use the sunlight? Yesterday we had a, a bomber airplane take off. They're like, let's use that. <laughs> like, that wasn't supposed to happen. So you just kind of have to be ready. Um, and I, I honestly think it, it adds excitement to what we do um, because you're ever more so present in the moment. Working with Jake Gyllenhaal, just like I said with Guy, was another dream come true. He's, you know, top three of my actors for the last 20 years. Um, everything from Nightcrawler, you know, to Donnie Darko. So it was kind of surreal, you know, when I got the opportunity to work with him because I've kind of looked up for, to him for so long. And he's, he's such a prepared um, actor. He's so kind of visceral in his, like, his approach and uh, he, he's, his intensity, which he has to be in this, you know, this, this movie's about um, trust, right? It's about building and finding trust with someone you don't quite know in an area, in a battlefield that you're not quite sure if you're gonna survive and he has to learn to trust this translator, this interpreter. Um, and to see him kind of take the scenes, like I said, where Guy will come and change, like, hey, we're gonna do it this way. And his approach to it, obviously he's gotta change you know, the dialogue of what he was gonna say, but he, I mean, honestly kind of internalizes it and then gives out a performance that you would think Oh, he had weeks to prepare for that, you know, but he, he literally just on the spot, but that's, I mean, that's his preparation and the kind of actor he is. And he's been, he's been incredible to, to bounce off of, you know, on screen, we've had great moments. And I think there's so much of a, uh, within scenes that is like the unspoken, right? Words are words, but it's, uh, it's actions and reactions. And to be able to bounce off of him and just play off of what he's doing has been, um, it's been, you know, it's been a masterclass for me.